Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today, I will be bringing you all the fifth video in my motion graphics basics series here on my channel every Friday. Uh, what this video will be will be handwritten text. Uh, also, this is the first effect that I'm covering that was not used in my new intro. And I'm also putting some background music in the back because I just feel that some nice chill drum and bass from Bustre really helps. Pretty sure that's how you say it, Bustre. Um, I've gotten permission from his music, uh, you can check his links down in the description, some nice drum and bass in the background, no words, no distractions, just kind of there to, I don't know, sound a little better and soothing. Um, so what I'm showing you guys today is handwritten text. Uh, I've done this in a few edits before, like uh, the show, uh, a few intros, I've done this a long time ago and I really haven't done it lately in anything, but I will show you how to do it. So first you need some text, I DKNG and a good font that looks handwritten like Lunabar. Uh, Lunabar, Genesu is another one I use. Just look up like, um, go to dafont.com. A lot of free fonts on there and look up handwritten fonts. Find one you like and you can do this with it. So type whatever you want, TKNG will be fine for me. So what I'm going to do right away is start doing some masking. So what you need is your pen tool and grab. make sure you click on your text and what you're going to do is you're going to make a path. You're not going to make a mask, you're never going to close this mask. It's going to be one solid line and it will never end or you know it will it'll have a start and end but it will not come to a close like to create a circle um we'll be making a path for the stroke effect to use so what the way you want to mask it is the way you're going to write it so if i'm when i write a t i put the top first and then the bottom and then when i put a k i do the top and then i do starting from here over at the end i go bottom up and around and then g and i do like that so uh, basically, you want to write out your text how you would write it with your own handwriting. So um, here's my font. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just click here and just make you know slight masks around the text to simulate that I'm writing it. And I made that little curve to simulate a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't go into K. And I go around this way. And I'm gonna go move it actually a bit closer so it doesn't take as long. And I'm gonna go down the right there and then since I'm going to go down on the K I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to point here and drag this one in I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to get a, give it a little bit of a curve put that here actually, yeah, go like that slight curve and I'm going to put that a little bit more of a curve and then I want it to come over here so once again I'm just going to cross the T since I already did the T uh, it will be revealed, doesn't really matter. Put that there, zoom in, move this right here. Get a little bit of a curve, and move that. So basically, you're just moving your points continuously to get the best one you can. So, yeah, I'm doing this pretty roughly. I just want to show you the basics of how you do this. Uh, you know, when you're doing this for your intro or your motion graphics, be much more precise. Um, I'm doing this for the sake of time. I want this to be quick. So there's my N. I'm gonna move this a little bit, move this a little bit as well. And I'm gonna go up into the top of the N and down. So I need to use the curves on the mask. And this time, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little point there, just to add some more curves there and there. And obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it in the center of your text. That's good, so now I'll make a curve there, a curve there. And the N is about done. So we got, got the N, it's rough, but it works for now. And I want it to start from here and go around the G. So now I'm going to just make a few points there, come around, get to my G. A little bit of curve, down G. Here, pull this up and add some more. That should be good there. So basically, I keep saying basically, geez, but you want to make you know a mask that you think would be a realistic hand movement. And there we go. So now that I'm done with this and it's done, I'm just gonna make one more point, and you're gonna right click. Uh, yeah, just right click. And oh, what the hell did I just do? Oh, there we go. All right, I made a circle for a second. That was bad. So basically, just click off and click your uh, mouse tool, and you have this mask here. Damn! I hear thunder outside. 
<laughs> Alright, everything's rattling upstairs, but good thing I'm in the basement. Um, if there's a tornado, I'll be fine, I'll still record the tutorial. But, so now you have the mask out section. What you want to do is go to your effects and presets and search up stroke. So, not 3D stroke, just regular stroke. It's a built in After Effects plugin. Scroll down, it'll be in generate. Generate stroke, put that on your text. And you want to go path, mask one, it should set like that right away. And you're going to want to go paint style, reveal original image. Now if you see, if I turn this mask off, it only covers the parts of the text that um, I go directly over with two pixels of size. So you'll see the brush size, if I bump this up, the full text comes, but then it goes away as I get bigger. So what I want to do is scale it up so it's just revealing the text, but not, you know, uh, it reveals the full text, but not all of it. So about... 12 will be good for me. I think I need to fix these points. I'm gonna set it to 12. Turn my mask back on so I can see it. I need to fix these points because it looks very weird. And move that. There we go. So I move that and now you can see the full text. But now we need to do some keyframing. So brush size you'll keep. Brush hardness doesn't matter. Opacity doesn't matter. You want to keyframe your start and your end. So what I'm going to do is at 2 seconds I want it to start and I want it to be nothing. And at 5 seconds I want the full text to be written out. So I'm going to go to 5 seconds just to make a 2 marker, go to 2 seconds and make a 1 marker just to make it easier for me. So I can just snap back. What the? I hit the wrong button. Just snap back and forth. So go to the 2 marker and click, let's see, start or end. Hit the keyframe and hit U. Easy easy keyframe. If you would like, I will. And 1 and then go to zero on the end. So it'll be nothing. And you'll see it writes out and it, you know, follows that mask and that looks kind of sloppy. So I might have to uh, change my uh, points a little bit. It looks kind of sloppy. So, you know, what's nice about this is you can uh, change your keyframes at any time. I just heard somebody upstairs. They better not interrupt me. That would really suck. Alright, I'm going to turn my brush down to maybe 10 or 8. Hopefully 10 should be fine. 10 looks fine for now. Uh, you're you're going to have a little bit of this. If you use a different text, it should be fine. Um, but as you'll see, it reveals the text and actually follows the path of the stroke and writes out your text by revealing it. So if I'm going to go fit, I'm going to turn off this mask and just uh, ram preview this for you. I'll show you how it looks in the end. Um, so if you want to make this any faster than it actually is, all you have to do is scale down your keyframes. So, gosh dang, the windows are rattling. So there you go, there's the text. It writes out T, K, and G. It's very slow, so what I'd like to do is go to the one marker and then just go to the three seconds. And I'm going to make another shift to grab my keyframe and snap it. So now it only takes one second and it writes out a lot faster. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Um, check out the rest of this series. The playlist will be in the description. I'm uploading every Friday. I want to get a decent amount of uh, videos in this series, hopefully 10 or more. So uh, thank you again all for watching. Uh, my name is Cool Ninja Guy, and I'll see you later.